So what is the command? I, I want to check all the list block devices. Ls b l k, and you can see that I have only one my root device that is xvda one, right? Only one partition, eight GB space. Am I right or wrong? Okay. So now I will create. I will attach. Uh, sorry, I will create one volume. Then I will attach my EC2 machine. What I have to do? Okay. So first I have to create a volume. So where should I go for that? Huh? Okay. Now I am in instance console. Then. Sorry. Okay. Uh, down I can see that volume, right? So I will just click on volume. I'll go to this page. Okay. So on this page you can see that I already have a volume and this is belongs to my root volume, yeah. right? I will create a volume. So click on create volume. So I'll create 30 GB. So then we can divide into three, right? So I'll, I'll do one thing. I'll create a 40 GB now. <coughs> okay. So one thing we have to make ensure what zone, zone availability zone. zone. See, so wherever you created or wherever you deployed your instance, the same available zone you have to select. What is my available zone? One A. I will select one uh, one A over here as well. If you want, you can encrypt. What is the benefit we getting out of it? Security. Security. Okay, we can select encryption. Then we can select our KMS key as well. We know KMS key and all right. Okay. So now I'm not going to encrypt or not. I'll just remove. Then I will create a volume. Okay, so now you can see that successfully I created 40 GB space one uh, EBS volume. So I'll call it as my secondary. This is my secondary one. Okay, so next I will uh, attach this volume. For that, I click on this volume, go to action, then attach. So just click on this volume, then go to attach volume. So select your instance, and instance name is EC2, then attach volume. Successfully attached, I'll go to my instance, then I will check it again. So what is the command? LSBLK. And now you can see that XVDF1. See, as of now, I have only one disk. So this is a very large disk, right? And I want to divide this disk into multiple segments. So there I have to use which utility? Which utility? What is the utility name? Or application? FDisk. Or else we can use GDisk as well. Guide partition table. So write it on example, FDisk and GDisk. We can use both two. Both are similar, but either you can use F disk or G disk. But as of now, we will go with the F disk. It's quite simple. Okay. So listen. So first, what I will do here, uh, I will execute F disk. Listen, F disk. Okay. Then space. Then we have to uh, show this file name. What is this file name? XVDF. XVDF. Okay. Before we have to mention do XVDF. Okay. Then enter. And you can see that welcome to F disk utility and uh, command for M. Okay, so I will just execute M over here, then enter. And we getting some uh, helpful command. For example, I4 low disk and uh, W4 write table to disk and exit. Suppose if I want to create a new partition, so which option I have to select? Anyone? So just go through that and find it out. Eh? Eh? Add, a Add a new partition n. Right, you're getting the concept, right? So I will just click on n. Okay, n. Okay, so now you can see that we have a two types of partition. One is primary partition, another one is extended partition. For example, if you want to create different operating system in this virtual machine, then you have to go with the <coughs> primary partition. See, primary partition, we can only create four partition. But if you want to create extended partition, we can create as much as you want. Okay. For example, 40 GB, you can divide into up to 40 segments, one GB, one GB, one GB like that. But if it is a primary, so you can like install one operating system over there. Okay. So I will create primary partition only. So select P option. So I will select P and so partition number one to four. So by default, you will select one. So I will hit enter or else we can put one then enter. Yeah. First sector, you don't need to bother about this first sector. Just leave it and so next last sector here. You have to mention your space, how much you want. For example, if I want 10 GB, then I will put plus 10 G. Okay. And so create a new partition one type Linux and add of size 10 GB successfully created. So how to save this? So I will, I will execute M again. And you can see that one option we have over you to save our table. What is it? Right table to Qt and disk, right? So I will execute W, then enter. You are successfully done. Again, I will execute LSBLK, enter. And now you can see that XVDF1. And this is total 10 GB space out of 40. And I want to create 10 GB more. Uh, what is the command? Parna. Eh? 
ഒരു മിനിറ്റ് ഞാൻ സ്റ്റോപ്പ് ചെയ്യട്ടെ കേട്ടോ